Hi everyone, I am Saranen. Now I am going to present and review article with the title A Systematic Literature Review of Project-Based Learning Mathematics Education for Secondary School. First of all, we look into the introduction part. Mathematical connections are structured networks as links or intermediaries between mathematical ideas just like spider webs. Few research stated that project-based learning is defined as an active student-centered teaching that includes student autonomy, constructive investigation, goal setting, collaboration, communication, and reflection in real-world practice. Project-based learning becomes an useful model for engaging students with relevant learning so that they gain meaningful understanding of their learning. Preferred reporting item for systematic reviews and meta-analysis model is used as research method to make a systematic, precise, and reliable literature review. There are 10 steps were followed in preparing this systematic literature review. The first and second step is needs and review questions. We have identified need for this systematic literature review and the research question of the systematic literature review. Third step is scope. The scope is narrowed down by includes journal articles in the field of mathematics education. Participants for secondary school students include papers published in English to avoid the risk of difficult or ambiguous translations. Articles published in 2018 till 2022 only. Fourth step is use the word project-based learning, mathematics, mathematics education, secondary school and high school to find articles and we acquired 2,259 potential articles from six different databases. Fifth step is screening. There are two ways of screening were conducted and finally we found 19 articles satisfying the criterion. Sixth step is code. We have developed codes for content analysis of 19 articles. Seventh and eighth step is map and appraise to interpret the gap or difference between project-based learning research and secondary school students and to identify the need for project-based learning in our daily life. Ninth and tenth step is synthesize and communicate. It will be presented in the results and discussion part. The PRISMA model defines a systematic review of clearly formulated questions using systematic and explicit methods to identify, select, and critically access relevant research results. So that there are seven research questions in this systematic literature review article. First research question is, what are the topics in mathematics that are employed in project-based learning in mathematics education for secondary school? So based on the analysis of 19 articles, geometry, trigonometry, graph are the topics that are involved in the articles. But the most employed topic in project-based learning for secondary school is geometry. The second research question is, what are the research methodologies employed in project-based learning in mathematics education for secondary school? Based on the 19 article analysis, quantitative, qualitative, mixed method, and multi-method are the research methodologies that have been used by the researchers in the articles. 58% shows that the researchers are mostly use quantitative approach in the articles. Quantitative approach like experimental research and quasi-experimental research were used in their researchers. Quantitative research approach basically relies on hypothesis testing. The researcher need not to do intelligent guesswork. Rather, the researcher will follow clear guidelines and objectives. Research question is, what types of instruments are related to project-based learning in mathematics education for secondary school? Based on the analysis, the highest percentage, which is 28.13%, shows that mostly the researchers are used questionnaires to conduct their researches on project-based learning in mathematics education for secondary school. And it is followed by test, observation sheets, validation sheets, interview, and authentic assessment. Mostly the researchers are used questionnaires because it is enabled the researcher to obtain more accurate data and faster feedback from the respondents on the things to be tested compared to using other methods. And it is also save time, energy, and expenses. When the researcher are used questionnaire, it is able to improve the accuracy and truthfulness of the response given by the respondents because it is not influenced by the researcher's behavior. The fourth research question is, what are the variables that are related to project-based learning in mathematics education for secondary school? There are 10 variables were identified in the analysis of articles. Most employed variables are visual spatial skills, mathematics achievement, and critical thinking ability. The variables that have been used by the researchers proves that project-based learning can improve various competencies such as academic achievement, thinking levels, critical thinking, problem-solving ability, creativity, and independence. And also, this project-based learning 
offers capability of creative thinking where it has benefits such as being able to produce ideas, changing thinking flexibly, and able to develop ideas to find solution for problems. Fifth research question is, what is the geographical distribution of the authors in project-based learning in mathematics education for secondary school? Based on the analysis of articles, researchers from Indonesia, Turkey, Spain, Vietnam, Malaysia, and USA were conducted researches on this topic. But the predominant authors developing project-based learning were in Indonesia. Sixth research question is, what are the analysis methods that are employed in project-based learning in mathematics education for secondary school? 57.89% shows that majority type of data analysis employed were inferential, which is parametric analysis, where 11 articles from 19 articles were used inferential or parametric analysis in their researches. Pre and post test, Mann Whitney U test, and the Wilcoxon sign rank test, two way analysis techniques, variance, ANOVA, Friedman test, normality test, independent t test, and paired samples. T test were used as quantitative analysis method in the researchers. Mostly, parametric analysis through pair sample t test was used to determine whether there was a statistically significant mean difference of the academic achievement on pre test and post test on the concept. The seventh research question is What is the remarkable outcomes of project based learning in mathematics education for secondary school? The remarkable outcomes of 19 articles were summarized in this table. The varies among the different independent variables examined in project-based learning. Dilleran and Kearney 2014 stated that students actively control their education during project-based learning, and project-based learning helps to improve student creativity, and also students take greater responsibility for their learning. Project-based learning helps the students to deeper understanding of learning, more positive attitudes towards studies, supportive relationships among peers, Flexibility in communication and learning motivation. Next, we look into the conclusion part. In the most of the research articles, the data collection were conducted through quantitative approach. The secondary school students were involved as research samples. Indonesian researchers were the most prolific scholars in conducting project-based learning in mathematics education for secondary schools. Project-based learning contributes to enhancing problem solving and higher order thinking skills of the learners. In a nutshell, project-based learning increases students' self-confidence. There are four types of limitations in this systematic literature review. First is, there are 19 articles only reviewed in this systematic literature review, and all the 19 articles were published from 2018 till 2022 only. ProQuest, Scopus, Science Direct, JSTOR, Sage, and Springer are the only databases were used to identify the appropriate articles for this project-based learning in mathematics education for secondary school. When we are identifying the articles which is appropriate to this topic, we are looking into the secondary school students only as research subjects. Project-based learning, mathematics, mathematics education, secondary school, and high school are the keywords that have been used to collect all the articles which is appropriate to this topic. In future, more research designs should include in project-based learning in mathematics education for secondary school. Not only involve secondary school students in project-based learning, but then should emphasize project-based learning on primary school students also. Other instruments also should be used more in future research. Project-based learning should examine in many other variables. These are the few references used in this systematic literature. Thank you.